haven in the heart of the wintry wood. <sighs> I can say the weight of the journey that brought you here. Come on in and let the warmth of the heart embrace you. No, it's okay. This is what this place is meant to be. This little cottage in the woods. Far deep and far away from society. For anyone who seeks warmth, relaxation, and rescue. And I can sense that is exactly what you need right now. So come on in. There we go. You can take off your jacket now. Don't worry. You'll warm up in no time with the warmth of the fireplace. And I'll make sure to wrap you up in the fluffiest blankets I have. <sighs> there, there. That's good. Come here. Sit right beside my side. Hush. Don't worry about these formalities. That's not important now. Who I am or why I do this. Does that really matter? Maybe if you apply everything I say. I'll reveal my little secret. But only after I'm truly convinced that you're fully relaxed. <laughs> oh, come here now, human, and sit down. I'll bring you a blanket in the meanwhile and prepare something warm to drink. Here, wrap yourself in this warm blanket. made out of extra soft material, keeping your body warm inside and not letting it escape, which will make you warm up but no time. <sighs> Let me pour you some hot chocolate. my special blend with not only the milkiest chocolate and the best milk you can find around here. No, but also made with a very, very special ingredient you can only find in these woods. Hmm. <laughs> Come tell all my secrets. If I did, what magic would there be to this place, right? Oh, that's right. Let me pour a yoga. Here. 
月亮。Ingredients only does what's old. Stories of big adventures. And stories of grief and pain. And you know, hearing these stories is one of the reasons why I do this. To help the lost soul. Find back its way, especially after a long, long, weary, weary day. Hmm, <sighs> that's right. You're totally right. But you know, that's not important right now. All that matters is your relaxation. So how about I help set the mood by lighting a little candle? And don't worry, it is no ordinary candle. It holds the sweetest smell. The smell of herbs and that reminds you of your loved ones and the sweet note of vanilla. Would you like that, my traveler? You want? That's nice to hear. Hold on. Let me light the candle. It's a very, very small candle in this cute little metal packaging. But we should never estimate something just because of how tall or small it is. Okay. Let me light the map. Oh, no. 
You're normal. Oh, other than my fluffy tail and my long nail, I have other qualities. <laughs> what other travelers like the most? Oh, that's a good way to go about this. Oh, you want to be surprised? Okay, sure. I'll give you the treatment. Everyone loves. And it will help you. Holy, holy drift and different. And eventually, you'll forget all your worries. And John will leave your body. And you can just be a pain. <sighs> so first, let's start with an ear cleaning. And you might wonder what an ear cleaning is like. different methods to go about this. Different ways how to clean them. And different tools as well. But I will start gently at first. Just gently. Yeah. And what I usually do just those lovely, lovely human eyes with my tail, with my own so fluffy tail. Oh, you're really 
has he earned to learn about my secret? My name is Malaria. And I've been living in those woods for all my life. And it is by no accident. I am here, and this cottage is a place of refugees. I just want to that. Because that is my very purpose. To welcome anyone who needs some rest. To me, the greatest pleasure is giving this relaxation and comfort and rescue and refuge. It is my very, very big pleasure. I'm learning about the traveler's journey. One of the biggest treasures. Because I would never get to know what being a human is like. What living in the human world is look like. But through those journeys and those stories, I got to learn. I'm not sure if you're still even hearing a word I say. So I rest your heart against my chest. That's okay.
taking solace in wisdom amid the serenity of the winter's embrace. The wanderer, adorned in a cloak spun from the frost kissed threads of the night sky, journey through the paths and beneath the canopy of ancient pines. With every step, the snow beneath his feet painted the tapestry of tranquility. One fateful night, as the stars sparkled like diamonds overhead, a blizzard raged fiercely, swirling snowflakes in a mesmerizing dust. 